Welcome back. All right. So the Bible tells us look not to the left nor to the right. Right? So when God saw that Moses was distracted, he turned aside. Right? What did God do? God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses and he said here am I does this sound familiar remember the story of Samuel when Samuel was in the house of Eli right and Samuel was sleeping and Samuel heard a voice call his name when he got up he, there was nobody there he thought it was Eli so he went to Eli did you call me Eli said no he went back and sleep again he heard the voice call him a second time he got up there's no one there he went to Eli did you call me Eli said no Eli said it must be God that is calling you next time you hear the voice call you say yeah, speak, Lord, for your servants hear it. So he went back to sleep again and he heard a voice call him a third time. And when he realized that it was God, he said what he, he did what Eli instructed him to do. And he said, speak, Lord, for thy servants hear it. And God starts speaking to him concerning the house of Eli, right? Now we see here, God called, right? Someone was called three times. Moses was called two times. Two, three, two, three. Okay, put it two, three up. <laughs> Woo. I sing a song right I said, put it through two, three up. That's the ring for them, right? Um, but listen, on, on the all serious thing here, right? Um, two is a good number, right? And also three is a good number. The Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, number two. The Son, number three, the Holy Ghost, right? Um, so we see here, now it says, And when the Lord saw that he turned aside, to see God, um, to see God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses, and he said, here am I. How many of you, when you hear the call of God upon your life, you say, here I am, Lord, send me, here I am, Lord, use me. Right? And it says, and he said, draw not nigh, hit the, put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for this place where thou standest is holy ground the singer said this is holy ground right and, and then it says most moreover he said i am the god of thy father so who called moses the god of his father no there are many gods out there right and that's why the bible said many are called but few are chosen because we got to know who is calling us why are they calling us what is the reason what is the purpose of the call from them right because the devil could call you right your manager could call you your mother could call you your father could call you auntie uncle niece, your pastor could call you but it's a different when god call you the gods of this world could call you. But there's a difference when God called you. Right? So we see here. So we got to know who called him. Let me share an, ex an example. I remember when I first got saved. And I was sleeping one night. And like mid-morning, early morning. And I heard... Uh, I heard of, I heard someone call me and I got up and I, there was no one there. And I asked my grandmother, I said, did you call me? And she was like, no. Right? The second time I heard it, I was working in a learning center, a child care learning center as a teacher assistant. And I heard the person call my name and before they called my name, I had art class with the, the students. And out of nowhere, I started painting, not knowing what I was painting. But when I finished with the painting, it was the burning bush that I painted. Didn't even know that it was the other teacher assistant that was working with me. Says, that looks like the burning bush. And I was like, yeah. And I named the picture the burning bush. And I think it was a couple of weeks or a month after, something like that. I was working and the children, the, the, the kids, they were taking their nap time. And I was sitting there, I believe I was reading the book, the, the Bible or something. And, and I heard a voice call me again. And I was looking to see who called me. And then a lady came and she was like, 
boy, you hear somebody calling you or something? And I said, yes. I just like, nobody's not there. But to me, when she, how did she know that? To me, it's some, it, it was like she called me. She sent out herself there by coming and asked me, um, did you hear somebody call you? Right? She sent out herself. So you got to know the difference. When I went to my grandmother and asked my grandmother, did you call me? My grandma said no. Right? This case, when I was working at the learning center, um, where at, at a church that I used to go to, um, the lady, she she came to me and asked me, did you hear somebody call you? So that song, Fishy, there then, right? How did you know that I heard someone call me unless it was you who called me, right? So let's just say many are called and you are chosen because why? we got to detect who is calling us. Is it man calling us or it is, is it actually God that is calling us? right now i knew i had purpose um after joining that burning bush right um what, what revelation gives me is california with all the fires and all that kind of stuff so the lord had me visited california and he had me while i was on the bus um stood up and spoke a word i didn't even want to do it but brethren the lord we gotta fear god and not man and we got to do what it is God has given us. He said, don't be afraid of their faces. So I stood up and I speak what does said the Lord. And when I sit back down, the people was thankful. You know, um, some of the people clap and they will, um, some of them were like, thank you for that word. I receive it in Jesus name. And when I just sat back, I sat down and I, you know, went about my business, right? But I was about the Lord business first. Amen. Sometimes we could be about a business and God disrupt that so that his business could be done, right? All right, and um, not only that, I had the opportunity last year to go to Pivot, um, uh, Pivot and your yes strong, right? And and the team was the burning bush, amen. And, and God is just so amazing, um, some, um, marvelous speakers, you know, encouraging words, amen. Um, it was just prophetic, amen. Um, phenomenal. <laughs> uh, God is good. Amen. Uh, another time that I got, I heard um, a voice call me. I I I um it was it was in the same place where I first got called. And I went to my grandmother again and I asked, "Did you call me?" And she said, "No." She said, "No." Now listen to this. I had the opportunity two thousand seventeen and two thousand eighteen to go to a school it was, it was a bible college and while i was at the bible college now i understand that it wasn't it, it what god was calling me because he had a messiah calling upon my life right because he spoke to me out of the burning the burning bush just like he spoke to moses glory hallelujah amen now when you read down a little bit now it says now that um Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And then he goes on to say, And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. Brethren, when I went to the school, when I went to the school, um, it's it's a Bible school, and you know it have it have task, it have taskmasters. Um, not trying to judge anybody or make anybody look bad or anything like that. Uh, but some strange things happened while I was there. Uh, number one, I remember I, I was always in the presence of the Lord, always in the presence, always seeking God because I had so many answers, so many, uh, so many questions, so many, you know, I, I was just longing for more of God, you know, and, uh, being in his presence while I was in his presence, I remember one time I had a chapel, um, and this chapel service was the final chapel service before we went, before the semester ended and, while I was crossing over the bridge to go to the, the chapel, glory, hallelujah, I felt, oh, glory be to God, I felt an anointing fell upon me so strongly. Ooh, and when that anointing fell upon me, I heard crying coming out of the water beneath the bridge and crying coming out of the trees. 
And I'm like, that's so strange. Like, I was wondering if anyone else was hearing it because they were just, just passing by. Just, you know, they were trying to get to chapel on time. But I was passing by, and as I was just walking by, the anointing just came upon me, and I just, I start hearing the cry of the people. Now listen to what it says here. It says, And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt and have heard their cry by reason of their task. No, I'm not God, but God allow me to hear the cry of the people which are in Egypt and you have allowed me to hear the, um, the cry by reason of their taskmasters. And it says, For I know their sorrows. Right? And then he said, and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. Now listen, when I went to the chapel, now I had a professor, uh, uh, um, I, I believe he was an apostle also, he's an apostle also at the school, um, and uh, a dean or something like that. And he was giving his testimony of how the doctor says he had cancer, he had cancer uh, and he, I would say had, he had cancer and the doctor was saying that he had a certain amount of time to live not much a little bit of time to live and um, brethren after hearing his testimony after chapel etc everybody went um when chapel ended everybody went to the lunch room to eat and i went straight to my dorm room and i went and lay doormat on the carpet i went and lay flat out on the carpet face down on the carpet and as I lay flat and doormat and no an anointing came upon me again so heavily glory hallelujah and the anointing came upon me so heavily. I arose from the carpet and I went straight to that man office who gave his testimony and said the doctor had a lot, uh, said he had a certain amount of time to live. I went straight to his office and I said, uh, can I pray for you? I felt led by the Holy Spirit to come and pray for you. Can I pray for you? And he said, Tikisha, I will receive prayer from you anytime. And I said, okay. I said, let's touch and agree and pray. I said, because the Bible says you shall not die, but live to declare the word of God. Because Jesus was wounded for a transition. He was because the transition of your peace was upon his shoulder. And by your stripe, by his stripe, you are healed. So I laid hands. I touch and agree. And I prayed for his healing, brethren. Glory, hallelujah. I pray for his healing. And the man who the doctor said had little bit of time to live, he is still living. It is four years now and he's still living. It's better to be obedient than to be sacrificed. You got to know when you are called by God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. I had a mosaic a calling upon my life. And a mosaic anointing came upon me while I was crossing that river. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. God allowed me to hear the cry of the affliction of the task. Master. He allowed me to hear the cry. Amen. Not only that. Hallelujah. Sometimes when we are called. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. We are the solution to some people problem when i said that in other words hallelujah oh glory to god so i pray god help somebody help this person now we are the solution hallelujah to that person hallelujah you know you know we are the ones supposed to be praying for that person instead of saying lord send help from the sanctuary hallelujah oh glory to god we pray a prayer hallelujah oh glory to god bless this person lord and sometimes god you're gonna use us as a solution to be able to bless that person amen so hallelujah oh glory to god I didn't know that God would have used me that day. Hallelujah. I just wanted to go to chapel. And while I was going across the bridge, oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. The mosaic anointing, hallelujah, came upon me and allowed me to hear the cry and the affliction coming out of the water. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Coming out of the trees. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then when I went to the chapel, the, 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 the professor, hallelujah, oh, glory be to God. One of my, he was my professor in class. Hallelujah. And he was also a dean. Hallelujah. And a counselor. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. And, and he was giving his testimony about how the Lord, um, how, how the doctor said that he don't have much time to live. Amen. Because he had cancer. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. But the Lord had a solution and he used me as a solution. He, hallelujah. When everybody else went to go to eat, he to send me, I was I was led back to my dorm room to lay off uh, to lay off flat on the floor doormat until hallelujah. The Bible says, right? Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. 
Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Um, it says, though we tarry, wait for it. Um, hallelujah shall surely come to pass. Not only that, hallelujah, it says that, um, hallelujah, uh, they were in the upper room. Uh, and a mighty, wait, 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 wait. Um, wait, 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 wait,
It was in my belly and I wasn't feeling at peace until I go and release that word. And I dropped that broom, I dropped that dustpan, I dropped that, that claw I was playing the table with. I dropped everything and I went into that room that they were, and I tell you it was a big, the, you know, the big, like the, the, the dean and the this and the that and you know, they were having their meeting. And I went in that room and I said, I have a word from the Lord. And I spoke what does said the Lord. Amen. And when I was finished, I just walked back out and such a peace just came upon me. <laughs> God, you got to be bold. You got to be brave and you got to be courageous. And when you are called out by God, he will give you that boldness, that spirit of courage and that confidence to do that which he called you to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. And I just released the word of God and I just went, I felt so peaceful. And I went back and finished the task that I was completing. Amen. Hallelujah, oh glory be to God. Ain't that something, brethren? <laughs> Woo. All right, now it says, Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come upon me, and I have also seen oppression wherewith the Egyptian oppressed them. Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto God, Who am I? that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt. And he said, certainly I will be with thee. And let me tell you, God was with me. Amen. <laughs> he was with me. He said, I'm going to send you like sheep amongst like um, wolf, right? And then he says, and this shall be a token unto thee that I have sent thee when thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt. Ye shall serve God upon this mountain right you shall serve god upon this mountain you see many people upon the mountains right a lot of people upon the mountains i don't even know they're upon the mountains how did they end up upon the mountains because they were called up by god and they accomplished the task that god had for them to accomplish amen it's better to be obedient than to be sacrificed and you see a lot of people say we gotta help a lot of people up hallelujah oh glory be to god but we can't help them up if they don't want to be obedient if they're disobedient then we cannot help them up amen hallelujah oh glory be to god it's because of moses hallelujah oh glory be to god accomplishing his task hallelujah he was able to serve god upon hallelujah the mountain amen hallelujah and moses said unto god behold when i come unto the children of israel and shall say unto them the god of your fathers has sent me unto you who said the god of your fathers has sent me unto you and they shall say to me what is his name what shall i say unto them and god this is moses talking to god and asking what shall i say unto them when they ask who sent who, who is the god of the fathers that sent and 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 god said unto moses i am that i am and he said thus thou, thus shalt thou say unto the children of israel i am hath sent me unto you so who have sent you hallelujah i am has sent you who have sent me i am have sent me hallelujah oh glory so you got to know who sent you amen hallelujah if i had listened to that let me tell you that woman called me amen hallelujah when i was working in the kindergarten in the in the in the, in the school elementary school right she came to me and she asked me hallelujah did, did you hear someone call you how, why how did you know that i heard someone call me if there was no one in the atmosphere unless you called me right so i didn't answer her her, her i did not answer her call up on my life amen i answered the call of god that is upon my life amen so you got to know who's calling you and you got to know what call to answer right you know when your phone is ringing and they have spam call that is calling right you don't answer the spam call right but you someone who's calling you on the name pop up and you know who that person is you answer right so when jesus is calling you answer the call when god is calling you answer the call not the gods of this world but the god who created the universe answer the call moses he answered the call amen and because he answered the call he was able to serve upon hallelujah the mountain amen hallelujah oh glory be to god he was able to serve upon the mountain when you're upon the mountain you can see a lot of stuff you can see a lot of things right when you climb to the peak of a mountain and you look down you can see 
Hallelujah, the, the valley. Hallelujah, down in the valley. Hallelujah, oh glory be to God. Hallelujah. When you go upon a mountain, you can see the whole city. Hallelujah, oh glory be to God. When you go upon a mountain, hallelujah, oh glory be to God. You can see a lot of stuff. Hallelujah, oh glory be to God. It's just like when you're in a plane in the sky, hallelujah, you're flying over. Hallelujah, different nation, tongues and kindred. You can see, hallelujah, the rivers, the streams, the seas. Hallelujah, the houses, the pools. Hallelujah, the lands. Hallelujah, oh glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, the works that is going on. Hallelujah, even the planes and the helicopter that is beneath. Hallelujah, you see so many things. Hallelujah, when, when you're up in the sky. So when you're up on the mountain, hallelujah, you see a lot of stuff. Hallelujah, oh glory be to God. So hallelujah, it says hallelujah. And he says, certainly I will be with thee. And this shall be a token unto thee that I have sent thee. Hallelujah, hallelujah. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God upon this mountain. So many of you want to go upon a mountain and serve of God. Many of you want to go up on a mountain, but have you answered the call of God upon your life? Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. You got to take the call of God seriously upon your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. I was called out. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. And um, I was led to a place that I don't even know. Hallelujah. Amongst people that I didn't even know. Hallelujah. To deliver our people that I did not even know. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. I was not aware of my purpose. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. But I answered the call and went to that place. Oh, glory be to God. And when I went, hallelujah, the assignment was given to me hallelujah oh glory be to god he didn't give me the assignment in the mid in the beginning he didn't give me the assignment in the middle he gave me the assignment at the end of the second semester hallelujah when i was walking over the bridge hallelujah oh glory be to god and the mosaic anointing came upon me hallelujah oh glory be to god hallelujah and hallelujah after hearing that my testimony and going back to the dorm room laying law doormat on the hallelujah just waiting hallelujah the bible says wait hallelujah in acts chapter one right hallelujah it's after this the holy spirit will come upon you hallelujah oh glory to god you shall be witness unto me born in jerusalem to die somewhere to the uttermost parts of the earth hallelujah oh glory be to god hallelujah so hallelujah after hearing that man testimony hallelujah oh glory be to god after walking over the bridge and hearing the cry of the people and the most like anointing calling came upon me hallelujah hallelujah oh glory to god. i went back to the dorm and law law lay flat hallelujah the anointing came upon me to go preach the gospel to bring good tidings how to set those that are liberty free those in prison hallelujah oh glory to god free those that are blind, hallelujah, they can see, hallelujah, oh, glory to God, hallelujah, those that are in bondage, hallelujah, to be, you understand what I'm saying, hallelujah, and in obedience, I went and I prayed for that man, and he was healed, he was delivered, hallelujah, oh, glory be to God, from his oppression, hallelujah, oh, glory, from his oppressors, hallelujah, oh, glory be to God, amen, hallelujah, and because, not only that, a lot of people got delivered, hallelujah, oh, glory be to God, out of the land of uh, um, bondage, oh, glory be to God, a lot of people got delivered, amen. And he says, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee that I have sent thee. Hallelujah. So that woman did not send me. Hallelujah. Nobody didn't send me. It's God who sent me. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. No man, woman, child, no boy, no girl sent me. God sent me. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. And he certainly, and, and, and he said, certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee that I have sent thee when thou hast brought forth the people. Amen. So what I've done, I've brought forth the people out of Egypt. Amen. He said, he shall serve God upon this mountain. Mountain. Amen. Hallelujah. So where am I serving? I'm serving upon the mountain. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are many mountains though. Hallelujah. So a lot of people try to find me. Hallelujah. And they may not be able to find me because God don't want me to be found. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Bye. Hallelujah. People who like to take advantage of people who like to mislead people who like to mishandle people who like to... God is a protector of his people. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah, oh glory to God, and he have me covered. Hallelujah, oh glory to God, hallelujah. I tell you, God is so good, brethren, God is so good, amen, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So, hallelujah, it is hallelujah, I am that I am sent me. I did not send myself, hallelujah, I wasn't sent by family or friends, hallelujah, or pastors, hallelujah, oh glory to God, relatives, hallelujah, neighbors, hallelujah, I was sent by, I am who I am. I, I am that I am. Amen. I am that I am. Hallelujah. Because I went and I accomplished the task. I now serve upon the mountain. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. So those of you that want to serve, hallelujah, upon the mountain, I encourage you, if you have not answered the call of God upon your life, 
answer it. You may not know what that call is, but when you hear your name call, answer it. Not only answer it, but detect whether it's man calling you or whether it's God calling you. That you got to know first. Amen. Because the devil can call you too. Amen. Hallelujah. The, the, the angels, hallelujah. The devil who dressed as angel of light could call. So you got to know the difference who is calling you. Search the spirit by the spirit to see if it is of God, amen. Because you don't want to answer the call of assignment that is not a, not a, a part of God's calling and um, purpose for your life, amen. Hallelujah, oh, glory to God. So, you may say, um, I'm misleading people. If you, how, how why would I mislead people, amen? Hallelujah, if you feel like I'm being misled, then you can miss this, dismiss yourself from this broadcast. But I'm shame based upon experience, hallelujah. If I didn't experience what I experienced, how would I understand or know what it is? Moses experienced, amen. I did not ask for any of these things to happen in my life, I did not know any of these things would have happened in my life, hallelujah, oh, glory to God. But it did happen, amen when I least expected it and because I was obedient hallelujah and fulfilled the task of God calling upon my life hallelujah I'm now I'm serving upon the mountain amen hallelujah glory to God God is so good amen God is so good uh, all the time and all the time God is good so I challenge you to answer the call of God upon your life hallelujah oh glory be to God and listen hallelujah oh glory be to God be a hearer and a doer of the word of God amen hallelujah oh glory be to God I was able to hear the cry hallelujah oh glory be to God of the people hallelujah oh glory be to God brethren God is speaking are you listening and are you open and available for him to call you hallelujah and give you a task to fulfill hallelujah are you willing for him to send you hallelujah to accomplish that task hallelujah oh glory be to god hallelujah so there are a lot of people that god want to deliver because he hear the cry of the people hallelujah he see the task hallelujah how the task masters hallelujah are pressing them hallelujah and his desire is to deliver them amen hallelujah that's why he sent his son jesus christ to deliver us from slavery to save us from slavery hallelujah from bondage amen hallelujah oh glory be to God. Amen. So I uh, pray you take heed to the word of God. I pray you were encouraged by this word on this morning. Hallelujah. Please start and shine in fight so that someone else can be encouraged. Hallelujah. Don't be discouraged. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. It may not seem easy, but remember, God says he is going to be with you. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. So I love you all. And Jesus, Jesus love you all too. I'm going to come back on and probably talk about it a little bit more. Hallelujah. If I feel led to. Hallelujah. Um, Oh, glory be to God, but I pray that you are blessed. I will bless. I'm encouraged. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray that you're encouraged too. May the Lord be with you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious until turn his face towards you and give you peace. And our team that is able to keep us from falling, present us for this voice, present with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior, both majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And amen. You got a call on your life. Answer that call today. Don't delay. Don't delay. Too late shall be the cry. Answer the call, brethren, upon your life. In Jesus' name. I love you all in Jesus. Jesus love you all too. Have a blessed day in the Lord and God bless you. Until then, Shabbat Shalom.